So this is going to be uh, talking about how to set up a hammock. We found a couple of trees here. Uh, looks like a couple of juniper trees. Got one there and one there. Spaced, you know, maybe 12 feet apart or so. A little bit further than ideal, but I think it'll work out okay. So now I'm going to clear out some of these branches. And then we'll get started. Alright, now we took a little saw and we uh, trimmed off just a few branches here to open it up. And on that tree. And then also on that tree. So now we've got a good spot between two pretty solid trees to go ahead and stretch the hammock out. Alright, so the uh, hammock material I'm going to use uh, is basically just for an improvised hammock. It's going to be out of a standard mosquito net. It's the old military issue mosquito netting. All I've done is double it over and then uh, on one end you'll see where you can see there where I've tied a loop into it and then uh, I'm going to show you how I tied the loop in into that end. Here on the other end you can kind of adjust your length by putting the loop wherever you need it. Okay so basically you once you figure out about the uh, length that you want it you just go ahead and bunch it together like this and then uh, you can just take grab a length to make the loop with and then tighten it down like that leaving a leaving a nice hole there at the end tighten it, get down, get it tight. And then take your uh, tail and just basically do a half hitch around the main part so that it won't slip through again and you do that twice and you're good to go and then that won't go anywhere when you put your weight down on it. Okay, so we got the uh, first end tied up. Basically all we did is uh, run the rope through the loop, ran it around the tree, and then cut, tied a couple of uh, clove hitches there on that branch. That's going to keep it from going anywhere on this end. And then we're going to have to set up this other side here. So I just got a bowline and this end of this rope. I'm going to go about eye height and then I'm going to go ahead and slide the rope through here, cinch it up against the tree nice and tight. As you can see you're going to want the trees to be you know at least four or five inches or so in diameter um, so that it can support your weight when you when you lean on the hammock. And then we're going to go ahead and take the rope and run through the loop. and we're going to tighten it up and we want it to be fairly taut uh, across the way because it's going to sag quite a bit once you get into it so yeah. run this back around the same place in the tree run it through my loop one more time And then I'm going to do a trucker's hitch just to be able to tighten it up later on if I want to. Okay, and that's the hammock. Okay, so we got the uh, hammock tied up on both ends. We had to loosen it up a little bit uh, just to get it down to a level where we can get in easier. And then the other adjustment we had to make real quick, it's an improvised hammock, so you got to kind of go with, go with the flow. We also had to tie knots in the middle here so that the sides would come up into a nice shape around you. Um, I'm about six foot, six foot one, 240 pounds. So if you have any questions as to whether or not the mosquito will hold you up, I will show you how to get into it here. Sit into it like this. And Pull yourself up and over, kind of center yourself in the middle of it, and there you go. Yeah. It's pretty comfortable. Works out pretty well. Now the only thing you got to worry about is rain. So we'll have to throw a uh, poncho over the top of it, and then we'll be done. Okay, as you can see, we got the uh, poncho up. Um, basically, we just uh, put it in a diamond pattern. We tied out one end. We tied up the hood. We want the outside of the hood to be on the outside. And the opposite end, 
we tied to that tree there and kind of pulled it taut. And then on the other side, we uh, took the 550 cord, tied it down low over there. We would have done the exact same thing on this side, uh, but we left it a little bit higher for demonstration purposes so that you guys can see in there and see what the final product would look like. I got my son inside there. And a couple things you want to think about when you're doing this is you want to make sure that you pull the poncho up high enough so that you can actually stand up, you know, up underneath it. And then make sure that you pull the sides down low enough so that, uh, you know, if the rain starts and all that kind of stuff, you'll be centered underneath it. You could also use uh, plastic sheeting. You could use, you know, a blue tarp, uh, pretty much any kind of material, parachute material or anything like that. You can stretch up over the top of you to uh, keep the rain off. Um, you can also use a store-bought type hammocks, uh, or you can get the net type hammocks, which work really well. Um, they do tend to sag a little bit more than the mosquito net hammock here. So, anyway, that's pretty much it for your basic hammocks. Um, the benefits to it are that it gets you up off the ground, and the uh, and it's light and easy. The downsides are you got to make sure you got a couple of good trees to uh, to tie it to.